Welcome to Netlinked, the only studio located in the heart of tech news land. NVIDIA has officially unveiled the GeForce GTX 1060. It's the most affordable card out of the Pascal-based GPUs, and the regular version of the card will be $249. There will also be a Founders Edition for $299. The 1060 will have 6 gigs of GDDR5 RAM, a base clock of 1,506 MHz, a boost clock of 1,708 MHz, and 1,280 CUDA cores. The card has three display ports, one HDMI and one DVI. There's also a single 6-pin PCIe power connector. NVIDIA claims that the 1060 is more powerful than the GTX 980 and also 15% faster and 75% more power efficient than the RX 480. Of course, none of this means anything until we see the card arrive on retail shelves in less than two weeks on July 19th. Evolve was one of those games that seemed to be on the track for major success. But since its launch, the reception has been less than favorable, and Turtle Rock Studios wants to bring back the magic. Starting today, Evolve will be free on the PC as a beta. They've already removed the game from the Steam sale, but making it free to play isn't the only change. They're reworking the Hunter class, making improvements to the maps and UI, improving load times, and a whole lot more. For anyone who actually bought the game for PC, they will receive a founder status in the new free version, and any content that you already own comes with you. In Team Fortress 2 news, TF2 will be getting a competitive multiplayer mode in the Meet Your Match update. Valve apparently has been testing this mode since early this year. This new mode will put you up against other players on a similar skill level. Ranked play will start you off as fresh meat and the highest you can achieve is Death Merchant. However, this won't be free access. If you want to play competitive mode, you will need to have an account tied to a phone number and have had purchased an item to gain premium account status or you can purchase an access pass for $10. What do you guys think? With Overwatch being one of the more popular games right now, will the Meet Your Match update compel you to go back to TF2? Let us know and leave a comment down below. It's time for Snippy Snippets. Avast Software has agreed to buy AVG for $1.3 billion. The public beta for iOS 10 and Mac OS Sierra are now available for download from Apple's website. HTC has partnered up with Lifelike as the provider for educational VR content for the Vive. Samsung just introduced the first UFS memory cards designed to provide performances similar to low-end SSDs. And finally, Google may be making two Nexus smartwatches according to sources from Android Police. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post, linked in the description. Leroy Jenkins. This week is NCIX's Out of This World sale event. The Canadian deal is a Corsair Survivor Stealth USB 3.0 flash drive, 128 gigs for 50 bucks. That's a savings of 50 bucks. The American deal is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Ti for $495. That's a savings of over 200 bucks. Click here for the Canadian deal and click here for the American deal and up here or down below for the rest of this week's deals. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here to watch previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go steal Jack's phone to play Pokemon Go because iOS version isn't out yet in Canada because Pokemon doesn't love 